Okay, everyone, time for the sh show. Where are all my puppets? Here we go again. Walter, I cannot believe you're here. I can't believe you're not. We've got a show to do. It can't be better than this. Look at all the look at all the look at all the girls. All right, I need you two boobs in the showroom right now. Oh yeah, that's the spot right there. Winston, we gotta go. Just as soon as I get my shell shine. Oh. You got a basketball nose, yeah! <laughs> what up, Team Blair? Ain't you supposed to be getting ready? Yes, Julius, we are supposed to be getting ready. Excuse me, can I have your autograph, please? Of course. Oh, I'm sorry, I was talking to Julius. Who are you? Who's he? He's Chair Theta, and we are live from Las Vegas! Gentlemen, please welcome Winston the impersonating turtle. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Winston, so uh, what are you planning on do doing for us? Well, I, I'd, I'd really like to do a magic trick. You do magic? Oh, yeah. What kind of magic do you do? I can levitate. <laughs> okay. This will be good. So, uh, so let's see you levitate. Okay, okay, this is so cool. Watch this. Wow. Careful. Ooh, careful. Careful. I gotta work on my landing. Yeah, you do. <laughs> well, now I just saved you folks a hundred bucks. How'd you do that? Now you don't have to go see Chris Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. So, Winston, uh, besides magic, what are you going to do? Well, I can do my theme song. I didn't know you had a theme song. I do now. Since when have you had your own theme song? Ever since I won America's Got Talent. Oh. Hey. You won America's Got Talent? Well, duh. Thank you for letting me be a part of that. No problem, no. <laughs> you want to hear the song I won with? Yeah, we do. We want to hear the song you won with. Okay, it's little Roy Orbison. Oh. 
I thought that I was older you But it's true, so true I love you even more than I did before But darling, what can I do? For you don't love me So you won America's Got Talent with this song. I sure did. Well, wait a second. If you won America's Got Talent, that means you're a millionaire. Why didn't you just retire? I made some bad choices. <laughs> like what? I lost half of that gambling out there in the casino. You lost half a million dollars in the casino? Yeah, but they comped my room. And I got a free buffet. Well, <laughs> well, at least you got something out of it. <laughs> I'm not too upset, though, because that still leaves you with half a million dollars. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> what did you do with the other half a million? I spent it at the Turtle Ranch. <laughs> they had turtles on the half shell. <laughs> She had a great snapper. Now, wait. <laughs> so I guess you're trying to tell us you're still just a working class turtle. No, I'm trying to tell you I'm a working class impersonating turtle. Well, so who, who are you going to impersonate tonight? So who, who are you going to impersonate tonight? <laughs> that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. Besides me, who are you going to impersonate? The Bee Gees! Well, you can tell by the way I use my work on the wall to say no time to talk. You see a cloud of women warmer than can't you around since I was born in a spot around. It's so cute, and they look the other way. We can try to understand the male times and circles. sounded like in the 70s. Well, here's what they sounded like in the 1960s. I started a joke which started the whole world crying but I didn't see that the joke was on me started to cry which started the whole world laughing oh if I don't you see that the joke was on me
Thank you. Thank you very much. D did you see what I just did? I just did a little song by myself. <laughs> I like to do that because after seeing me on TV, most people don't even realize that I can sing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so I, I pulled that little song by myself, but I, I know what you folks are thinking. You're sitting out there and you're going, come on, get some more, puppet boy, let's go. <laughs> okay. My next guest is a true country superstar. He flew in special from Nashville to be with us tonight. So please give him the welcome that he so richly deserves. Ladies and gentlemen, Walter T. Airedale. <laughs> Walter, uh, Terry, 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 Terry. <laughs> What? Nothing I just feel good tonight. Did you did you have a nice flight? I sure did. Did you get to fly first class? No carry on. Okay. So why are you in such a good mood? Because Terry, I'm looking out here at this crowd and I seen me some women's. <laughs> Last time I saw this and then he hot women in Las Vegas, I had to pay a cover charge. Walter, some of these ladies might be married. That's okay. This is Vegas. You can get a divorce at a 7-Eleven here. <laughs> so you like these ladies? No, Terry, these ladies like me. Well, <laughs> you sound pretty confident. It ain't confidence. It's a fact. How can you be so sure? Because, Terry, I'm a special kind of guy. What kind of a guy are you? I'm the kind of guy that can make Cheryl crow. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that can put Carrie under wood. <laughs> uh, I'm the kind of guy that can leave Clay aching. <laughs> But I ain't that kind of guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sorry. And scene. <clears throat> oh, so you like? <laughs> oh, so you like that joke? Yeah, that, that joke gets me every time. How come I can't talk when you're laughing? <laughs> no idea. I don't know. Uh, Terry, I want to do something right now that's going to get every single woman in here hot for Walter. What, are you going to do some ventriloquism? <laughs> Jackass. So, so what are you going to do? I'm going to yodel. Oh, ladies, you want to hear Walter yodel? <laughs> Why'd you do that? These women ain't turned on yet. How can you tell? I don't see no underpants on this stage. <laughs> Fine, what do you think will get these ladies more excited? I think if I yodeled real fast. What do you say, ladies? <laughs> All right, yodel fast. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Is that fast enough for you, ladies? Well, it ain't fast enough for me. Do it faster. 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 You men better hang on to your women. They're going to get out of control here in a second. Wait, Walter, Walter. What? Can, 
Do you mind if I get a drink before you do this? No, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can I get a drink too? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Terry, put on your safety goggles because the underpants are about to start the line. One, two, three. You ladies like that, don't you? Hi, How we doing? Having fun? Good. You want to hear my impression of Elvis? He was a phenomenal entertainer, years ahead of his time. But that's my impression. I'm sorry. I apologize to you, Elvis fans, I know. I, I, I'm sorry for doing that to you, but, but you see, the one voice that I've never been quite satisfied with the way that I do is the voice of the king. Lucky for all of us, earlier today I was in the casino, and there was a guy in there wearing an Elvis costume. What are the odds? <laughs> so I got to talking with this guy, and he told me he is the best Elvis Presley impersonator in the entire world. So I asked him if he'd come out and do a song or two. So ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the self-proclaimed world's greatest Elvis impersonator! <laughs> what, uh... What is your name? My name, my name is, 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 um, is, 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 um, is, uh... Your name? Oh, yeah, Maynard Tompkins. Maynard Tompkins, that's right. Uh, I know who you are. I saw your name on the marquee. You're Fairy Tater. <laughs> no. No, no, it's, it's not Fairy Tater. It's Terry Fader. No, I'm pretty sure it said Fairy Tater. No. No, it is Terry Fader. How would you like it if I called you Tainard Mompkins? That wouldn't make sense. He's my cousin. <laughs> well, Maynard, uh, you told me earlier that you are the best Elvis impersonator in the world. That's right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it's, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, uh, it, it, um, yes, I am. Okay. Well, as the best Elvis impersonator, uh, go ahead and do your thing. Do what? Do your impersonation. I don't do it in front of people. Where do you normally do it? Inside my head. I'm doing it right now. Listen, listen. Man, it sounds fantastic. Maynard, the reason I brought you out here was to do your Elvis impersonation. I, what, what's uh, I, I don't, I, I get nervous in front of people and I, and I start to, I start to, stu, I, I, stu, I, I, stu, I suffer from involuntary speech repetition. Maynard, I've, I've heard an old, there's an old remedy for this kind of thing. When you get nervous, you look out at the audience and imagine them in their underwear. What? <laughs> well, it's supposed to help relax you, so try it. Oh, okay, if you, if you say so. <laughs> ah, holy crap! What? What? Something they wearing underwear. <laughs> Maynard. Maynard. What Elvis songs do you know how to sing? I can sing. I, I, I know. I, I know. I, I, I know Elder Singer. I know Elder Singer, Elder song ever recorded. That's impressive. I know I'm impressed. <laughs> well, why don't we do this? Since you know every single Elvis song, this will help relax you. Let's get the audience to yell out their favorite Elvis song, and you can do it. That's a good idea. What do you want to hear? Just yell them right out. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard a lady right there. I heard a lady right there say, love me tender. Okay, come on up here. No. no. <laughs> Maynard. <laughs> no, no. She wants, you to, she wants you to sing the Elvis song, love me tender. Oh, I thought she was flirting with me. She's not. <laughs> That's too bad, because she was one of the ones that wasn't wearing underwear. Maynard. Maynard. 
I love each other! What? <laughs> you don't have to yell. You have a microphone. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so you, you know Love Me Tender? Yep, that's my favorite. Oh, good. You picked his favorite song. Yeah, okay, so. Love Me Tender. <laughs> what was that? I'm getting my note. Oh, okay, he's getting it. Okay. Love Me Tender. <laughs> I don't know Love Me Tender. You just said you knew. I know Elder sang the Elder song except Love Me Tender. Okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, a different one. Come on. Hound Dog! Maynard, stop yelling. Please stop yelling and use your mic. Okay, okay. Do you know Hound Dog? Yep, that's my favorite. All right, do Hound Dog. Okay. I don't know that one. Maynard, do you, in fact, you don't have to yell, you have a microphone. <laughs> do you know any Elvis Presley songs at all, Maynard? I don't know much. <laughs> well, that's obvious. Why did he just start an Aaron Neville song? Look at this face. I know the years are showing. Look at this life. I still don't know where it's going. I don't know much, but I know I love you. And I need me all I need to know. I told you, I'm the, I'm the best Elvis impersonator in the world. <laughs> Except that wasn't Elvis, that was, that was Aaron Neville. He didn't let me finish. I'm the world's best Elvis impersonator who does Aaron Neville songs. <laughs> oh, can I tell you something? What? That's the first time I've ever sung on stage in my entire life. That was impressive. <laughs> it was. Well, that was, that was very good for your first time. I'm, 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 I'm exhausted. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, Maynard, that was so good. Why don't you just go backstage and relax? Uh, can somebody come out here and get Maynard, please? Is she my ride? <laughs> what a manner of speaking. I have never been so proud to be an American. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my assistant. Uh, my wife told me I could get an assistant, but she hasn't seen her yet, so... <laughs> I'm not sure how long she'll be around. <laughs> Who, your wife or your assistant? <laughs> Terry? What? Can I ask her a question? Certainly. Can I put my head on your shoulder? Maynard, that is not her shoulder. Close enough. In the old days of Las Vegas, the headliners would always have other entertainers come up and uh, sing a song or two with him, and I'd like to carry that tradition on. A couple of nights ago, I saw a phenomenal entertainer at a smaller club here in Las Vegas. I asked him if he'd come out and sing for us. He's here tonight to show you just what blew me away that night. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the incomparable Julius. <laughs> Julius, you knew you were coming out here. Yes, I did. Why do you ask? 
<laughs> Nothing, you just look surprised. <laughs> oh, that's just a Botox. Oh, okay. <laughs> Julius, uh, I tell you, you need to have me for more than just a couple of songs. You need to put me in your show permanently. Permanently? Why, why would I do that? Because I can do something you cannot do. You think you can do something I can't do? That is a fact, Jack. Okay, well, what is it you can do that I cannot do? I can sing with. So. So? <laughs> Not. So? I said. So. <laughs> You, you don't think that I can sing with soul? Nope. What exactly makes you think I cannot sing with soul? How can I put this mildly? You genetically challenged. What? You a pasty white ventriloquist. Julius, what are you talking about? You a cracker. No, look at me. He said it. <laughs> so wait, you're telling all of us you can sing with soul? Oh, yes, I can. Julius, I really do want to hear you sing with soul. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I do. Okay, you ask for it. Only you <laughs> can make all this world seem right.
thank you so much. I'm not gonna do any of my stupendous hits for you tonight. Because I'm trying to reinvent my image. And there's something I need to tell you. Something I didn't even tell Dateline. I know what people are saying about me. I hear the rumors. I know the gossip. And I think it's time I came clean tonight. I'm different. The thing that many of you have long suspected me of is true. I love country music. I do. I do. And there is one man who has inspired me more than anyone else in my love of country and western. And he is here tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, please. Please, 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 please. Welcome back. Mr. Walter T. Airedale. Wait, something, something ain't right up here. No, Mr. Airedale, I just want you to know. No, wait, they told me I was supposed to come out here and sing a song with Michael Jordan. I thought you'd be taller and skinnier and black. No, no, no. I'm not Michael Jordan, I'm Michael Jackson. Oh, Michael J... <laughs> Dad gone, son, what happened to your face? Well, I promise I've never once ever had plastic surgery. What, they use plastic explosives? <laughs> Son, ain't you ever heard the old saying, don't cut off your nose to spot your face? <laughs> Mr. Odell, I just want you to know that you've been a big influence on me ever since I was just a little bitty boy. In fact, I learned how to yodel because of listening to you. Do you want me to yodel? I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. Check, please. <laughs> Son, did I just see you grab yourself? Well, yes, but I only do that when the music speaks to me. Well, don't let it speak to you again while I'm up here. <laughs> I can see I'm gonna have to teach you a thing or two about how to sing country music. Wait, you're gonna, you're gonna teach me about country music? Well, somebody's gonna have to. I don't see nobody else around here qualified. Look like had been me. Oh, just to be taught <laughs> by the legendary Walter Airedale. <laughs> That's always the. <been> oh. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I just mixed the voices up. That's all just for a second. <laughs> oh. 
Charles St. Dodd, I thought I had a stroke. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> Can I ask a question? What? <laughs> How come you're holding my hand? <laughs> There's supposed to be a joke here, but I can't remember it. <laughs> the hand you just grabbed yourself with, is it? <laughs> Can you let it go? I'm trying. <laughs> oh, wait, I remember. Okay, here we go. Here. <clears throat> to be taught by the legendary Walter Airedale. That's always been one of my fantasies. Oh, Lord, help me, help me. Help me, ladies, help me. <laughs> now, first of all, son, when you're singing country music, you gotta quit doing all that sissy stuff, all that hey. You gotta sing like a man. You know, to do that song, you're gonna have to put some cajones into it. Okay. You're always grabbing them, now put them to good use. Okay. I'll start it off. Okay, then I'll jump in. Okay. All right, that's it, let's do it. Out in the country, past the city limits sign, well, there's a house at home. The candy land. The joint starts jumping at the night when the sun goes down. <laughs> they got whiskey and women and music and smoke. They swear on the camp for both go to boot scoot and boot. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Man, that was just plain weird. <laughs> yeah, sorry for mixing the voices up there, Walter. That's okay, just don't let it happen again. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Get your hand off my butt with that glove on. Hey, As long as you folks are having fun, that's all I care about. Are you having fun so far? Good. Good. My hair. My hair look okay? <laughs> all right, listen. Um, I got a question. How many of you are fans of Michael Buble? Michael Buble? Huh? All right. I'm a big fan myself. I love him. And... Uh, if you're not a fan, hopefully you will be by the time I'm done with this song. Listen, being an entertainer is the best job in the entire world, I'm telling you. It really is. The one big drawback, though, is that most entertainers like myself have to spend tons and tons of time away from home. It can get very lonely and homesick when you're on the road by yourself. No, it's true. I, I, and and it's, uh, it took me 26 years to get here, and I'm glad to be here finally. I am. Really glad. But I will say that I spent 26 years on the road preparing for this moment. I spent nine to 10 months every single year traveling, bringing my show to people all across America. There are some other people though that have to spend way too much time away from home as well. And I would love to recognize them right now. Um, if you are currently in the military or have ever been in the military, would you please stand up for us and let us honor you and recognize you and thank you for your service. Thank you. Yes. Incredible. Thank you. I'd been on the road for about three months on one particular tour. I was lonely, I was homesick, I was so ready to get home. And I still had a three hour flight ahead of me before I got home. So I got on the plane, I sat down, I put my iPod on, and this next song came on. So I put it on repeat and I leaned my head against the window which annoyed the people next to me because I had an aisle seat, but that's <laughs> not important. And I listened to this song the entire three-hour flight over and over and over. And I want to dedicate this next song to each and every person that just stood up and to everyone who never made it home. This song is called Home. Now 
Another summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, and I wanna go home. Maybe surrounded by a million people, I still feel all alone. Just wanna go home. Oh, I miss you, you know. And it feels just like I'm living someone else's life. It's like I just stepped outside when everything was going right. Hey, and I know just why you could not come along with me. This was not your dream, but you always believed in me. Another winter day has come and gone away in either Paris or Rome, and I wanna go home. Just let me go home. Surrounded by a million people, I I still feel alone. Just let me go home. Oh, I miss you, you know. Let me go home. Oh, I've had my run, baby. I'm done. Wanna come home? Let me go home. Home tonight. I'm coming back home. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me do that. But now I think it's time we got weird. All of us at one time or another has had an annoying neighbor. If you haven't, then you're it. How about that? Please help me in welcoming to my stage my annoying neighbor! Annoying neighbor is hot. <laughs> Dougie, she is not my annoying neighbor. You are. You think I'm hot? <laughs> well, dude, I almost didn't make it here tonight. Why? What happened? Well, I kept driving by the place and it said in the rush, so I thought it wasn't really there. <laughs> and to top it off, I lost my job today. I didn't know you had a job. Yeah, I work for a moving company. What happened? They moved. <laughs> hey, dude, what are all these people doing here? Is this a party? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it is a party. Hey, you want me to make some brownies? No, no, Dougie, no, thank you. <laughs> I got most of the ingredients in my sock. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for offering. Dougie, uh, dude! What? What's wrong? Can you turn off the strobe lights or messing with my head? <laughs> Dougie, there are no strobe lights. Whoa. Dougie, would you please stop interrupting me and just focus for a second? Okay. <laughs> I brought you out here because I thought maybe it would be fun for us to sing a couple of songs together. Oh, that would be fun. What kind of music do you want to do? Both kinds. Both kinds? Yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> you start it, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll start it with one of my favorite songs. <clears throat> this is Sticks. Dougie, do you like Sticks? Yeah, dude, I got one attached to my hand. I'm sailing away 
Set an open cause for the virgin scene. Cause I've got to be free. Free to face the life that's ahead of me. On board, I'm the captain. So climb aboard. We'll search for tomorrow on every shore, and I'll try, oh Lord, I'll try to carry on. Dougie. So right now, love, dude. <laughs> what do you want, Dougie? Are you gonna turn on the strobe lights or what? Dougie, I told you there are no strobe lights. Whoa. <laughs> so. Hey, dude, there's a turtle in here. <laughs> He wants me to take him to some ranch. Does anybody here know what a cougar is? If you're not sure, then just ask the lady next to you that purred. I think it's time you folks met Vicky. boys how do I look tonight mmm good I paid a fortune to look like this and I want you to get my ex-husband's money's worth so Theta what do you think I'm like a convertible. I look best with my top down. <laughs> Vicky, Vicky, I, I wasn't looking. I, I'm, I'm married. That's okay. You're way too old for me anyway. I play nine men like I played blackjack. Anything over 21 is a bust. <laughs> 
<laughs> a minute ago, I, you mentioned your ex-husband, so, so you are divorced repeatedly. <laughs> I get more checks each month in the United Way. <laughs> so what do you do in your spare time? I volunteer, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, exercise bike. Oh, you ride an exercise bike? No, honey, I am an exercise bike. <laughs> I also do Tybo three times a day. He's not a cool boy. <laughs> and I don't even have a pool. So he's your boyfriend? He's at the top of the rotation. Yeah, how do you like this? I'm 49 and he's 21. Do you know how many times 21 goes into 49? <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> Vicky, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised that you would Mention your age. A lot of ladies are very sensitive about that. Oh, are you kidding? I looked like this at 49. I don't know, but you didn't know I had twins. I did. I can see them from here. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Get her done. <laughs> Honey, I'm aging like fine wine. I don't know what that means. The older I get, the easier I go down. <laughs> I'd like to say something to all the men here. I'm sure they'll love it. I know you like me. I know you do. That's why whenever I come all around, she's all know you. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend was round like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was fun like me? Don't you? Don't you? I gotta go. I'll be late for time, <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, Taylor, can you come out and get Vicky, please? <laughs> that hoe is wearing that dress. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with her. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Vicky, what do you want me to do? Put me in the box with the boys. Let's see if they know how to play poker. Oh. <laughs> Vicky, everybody. Oh, yeah. Question. How many of you have never seen my full-length live show before? Raise your hand if you have never seen my full-length live show before. Look at this. This is amazing. A lot of people that are brand new to the show. So you, sir, right here on the front row, you've never seen my full-length live show this first time, right? Wow. Isn't life funny? I mean, one second, you've never seen my full-length live show before. The next second, you're in it. Come on up here for a second. Just jump right up here on the... Stand right away on this side of me, on this... Nice. So, uh, what is your name, sir? Sean. Sean. Very nice to meet you, Sean. 
Now, uh, this uh, lady sitting next to you right here, is this, is this your wife? That's my wife. What is her name? Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you very much for sharing Sean with us for a moment. We appreciate it. Now, uh, there, yes, you can give Jennifer a hand. Okay, now, Sean, what I'm about to do, I'm going to turn you into a puppet. Because since you're married, you already know what this feels like. <laughs> Do me a favor, Sean, and turn around, and Taylor is going to outfit you in a mask. Now, uh, Jennifer, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to be putting a mask on Sean that is going to allow me to make him say anything I want to make him say. I will have complete control of his ability to speak. Now, I know that this is something you would kill to get your hands on, but I'm going to help you, help you out. I'm going to try to think of some things that you might want Sean to say. Sean, look straight ahead. Now, don't look at me. We want to make sure the whole audience can see you. Okay. <laughs> now, Sean. Sean, do you have anything you want to say to Jennifer right now? Yes, I do. Good. <laughs> uh, wh what would you like to say to her? Jennifer, honey, I want you to take all the credit cards and go on a shopping spree. That's very nice. Is that all? No, I got something else. What? I don't need to have sex anymore, honey. <laughs> I just want to cuddle. <laughs> Good. Are, are you done? No, one more. What is it? Jennifer, honey, I, I'd love to have your mom come live with us. <laughs> <laughs> Very generous. Very generous. Now, I showed you what could happen if this mask fell into the wrong hands, but lucky for all of us, it's in the right hands tonight. So, Sean, uh, do you do any impressions of any famous singers? Yeah, I do share. Oh. <laughs> would you, uh... <laughs> would you like to do your share impression for the audience? I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> now... <laughs> well, thanks for being so, uh, so agreeable. Sean... Since you're going to be doing an impression of Cher, do you, do you want to dress up like her? I've always wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to make that dream come true for you tonight. First things first, do you want us to put a dress on you? You had no idea. Y'all want to see Sean in a dress? Yeah. You bet. <laughs> turn, turn around. Now, we're going to be outfitting Sean in a beautiful Bob Mackie-style gown, the kind that uh, Cher is quite popular uh, for wearing. And uh, she likes to dress in, in, in elegant evening gowns. I used to watch the Sonny and Cher Variety Hour when I was a kid, and it was, uh, it was just amazing to see all of the different styles of dresses that she would wear. What? Oh, that's beautiful. I feel pretty. <laughs> you look good. You look, you look beautiful, Sean. I do. Yeah. You don't, uh, you don't, you don't look like Cher yet, though. I don't. No. How come? I don't know. What does he need? I, I... Yeah. Of course, Sean. Do you want us to put a wig on you? This day just keeps getting better and better. Sean, what's amazing is you look really comfortable. Yeah, I do this all the time when Jennifer's not home. Well, <laughs> answers the question. So, I put a wig on, too. You did? Yeah, because I thought we'd do a duet. Oh, is that what you thought? Yeah. I, I thought I could be Sonny. And I'll be Cher. Okay, and we're going to do their most popular hit song. They're silly young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. Well, I don't know if all that's true Cause you got me And baby, I got you Babe I got you, babe I got you, babe I got flowers In the spring I got you To wear my Make it big, Sean, use your arms. And when I'm sad, you're a clown. And if I get scared, you're always around. So don't let them say oh, it's long. I don't care with you, I can't go wrong. 
Then put your little hand in mine There ain't no hill, no mountain We can't climb babe. I got you, babe I got you, babe Hey, when the song's over, can I keep the dress? No No, I need it for my next show That's okay, I got the lady of them at home Oh, well, okay Big ending now, Sean. You ready for this? Here we go. I got you there. Give it up for Sean, everybody! Sean. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I appreciate you doing that. Now, uh, I know you're probably wondering what that looks like. Well, I'm sure somebody's going to post it on YouTube, so you'll get to see it. Huh? <laughs> no, you did a great job. In case you're wondering, Sean was not a plant. I do not have, uh, have somebody planted in the audience to do that. I randomly pick somebody in the audience. What I do is I scan the crowd and try to find someone who's going to look good in the dress. So very nice. <laughs> Nicely done. You know, I have to say that I have so much fun. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I was saying, I have... Wait a minute. Maynard, is that you? Yes. I have not left the building. What do you want? I want to do another song. Wait a minute. No, no, no. We don't... <laughs> We don't need any more Aaron Neville. No, I want to do an Elvis song. Maynard, you came out here. You don't have to yell. You have a microphone. Maynard, you already proved to us you don't know any Elvis Presley songs. I learned one. How did you learn one so fast? Your assistant assisted me. What did she do? I promise not to tell. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Maynard, are you telling these people that as soon as you were done with your last routine, you went straight backstage and worked the entire show and actually learned how to sing like Elvis Presley? Well, I went back, I went, 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 I went back. Yes, I did. Do you folks actually want to hear Maynard try to sing like Elvis? I think you're making a big mistake, but welcome back, Maynard Tompkins! Thank you. Thank you very much. Maynard, what happened? I have been to the mountains. And you actually learn how to sing like Elvis? Are you kidding me? No, I'm gonna do it. Bright Bird City gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Got a whole lot of money to trip to learn, so get those stakes of iron. There's a thousand pretty women waiting out there. They're all living in the field on the care. I'm just a devil with the notes they are so Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Viva Viva Las Vegas Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Thank you and good night! Thank you! Thank you!
See, you all want to hear one more, right? All right. I was hoping you'd say that. You know, no show of mine would be complete without a final song with Winston the Impersonating Turtle. Winston, uh... Club, dude, the turtle's gone. It's all right, Dougie. We know where the turtle is. Thank you. Is that your neighbor? Yeah, that, that's my neighbor. He smells like brownies. Whatever you do, don't eat any. Too late. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's not funny. Not funny. So, Winston, uh... Terry, can I say something to this audience? Of course you can. I just wanted each and every one of you to know... I love you. <laughs> that was so sweet. Thank you for doing that. You know, Winston, I, I couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> so what voice do you want to do for the final song? I hold kind of like Eve Rock here. I see trees of green. Red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Are you going to sing? Of course I am. Oh, good. As the skies are blue, clouds are bright, bright blessed days are down. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also in the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They're really saying I love you I hear babies cry I watch them grow They'll learn much more And I'll never know And I think to myself what a wonderful world I think to myself You finish it No, no, you finish it No, you No, you can finish it Please All right What a wonderful world Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.
Come on, listen. Here, blow on these again, Skippy. Emma. Uh-oh, buzzkill. 